Hey guys, my name is Dan and welcome to PC Building Simulator. So I found this game on itch.io and uh, I'm actually a big fan of like knowing PC parts and like video cards and RAM and processors and all that kind of stuff here. Um, I've never actually built a PC but I I watched the uh, I watched like tons of videos like Linus Tech Tips all those all those people and I'm fascinated by it so I thought I'd play this game on this channel here hopefully it's good because I'm not really sure I haven't done anything yet with it uh, career coming soon okay let's do the tutorial hi and welcome to PC Building Simulator to get started with this tutorial press I after you close this window to open your inventory. All the all the parts you own are shown in your in the inventory along with the quantity you have. Close your in, close the inventory after you're done to continue the tutorial. You can press T to toggle this window and Q to quit the tutorial. Okay, okay, let's press I. Okay, dummy CPU. Okay, uh, what the hell? That's all. Okay, to get started building your computer, navigate to the miscellaneous category on the right and selecting start offs standoffs standoffs are spacers installed between the motherboard and the metal tray behind it so a short circuit is not created they are also in the place the motherboard screws are installed in you can press t to okay oh, oh. I, I can walk in a 3d environment here okay <laughs> that was unexpected okay let's okay i right okay so what do I need? Miscellaneous and I need a standoff. That's what it said, right? To install the standoffs, hover your mouse over the highlighted slots and then press the left mouse button. These need to be installed in different holes depending on the motherboard you are planning to use in your build. The motherboard the motherboard we will use in the ATX form factor and those and these are locations that align with the screw holes in it. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, install. Okay, simple enough, simple enough. I got this. This uh, this might actually help when I decide to build a PC later on. Uh, before we install the motherboard, we need to install the power supply unit, the PSU. This is the power source for everything in your computer. Open your inventory again by pressing I, select Thermal Smart 500, okay. Okay, uh... Okay, I got it. Before we install the motherboard, we need to... Okay, whoops. Did I not do it properly? Uh, I need to go to power supply. There you go. This is, this is what I need. Oh, I got it. Okay, there you go. Now open your inventory again by pressing I and select the motherboard you just bought. Install in the highlighted spot. Okay, so motherboard. I need a motherboard. This Asus motherboard right here. Okay, I got it. There you go. At this point in real life, you would install the screws that hold the motherboard, being sure to have one in every standoff. But the parts in this game are held together by magic, so they don't require screws. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Next, we are going to install the CPU. This is the component responsible for interpreting the ex and executing most of the commands from other hardware and software from the computer. To do this, First open the slot, for that click the highlighted part on the motherboard, then that part is called lo load plate and what holds some s types of CPUs in the same place in their slot. Okay. Okay, CPU, CPU, where is my CPU, there you go, dummy CPU, okay I got it, uh, right here. Oh, I'm opening it. Oh, that's actually really cool. Now to install the CPU, go to your inventory by pressing I and select... Okay, I got it. Uh, dummy CPU. Okay, I installed it. Right? And close. So cool! <laughs> oh, this makes me want to build an actual PC now. <laughs> Now we will apply the thermal paste. Yes, okay, I got the thermal paste. Thermal paste is the type of blah 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 blah. Select the thermal. Okay, got it. Uh, thermal paste. Thermal paste. cooling. Thermal paste, right? Nope. Nope. I'm, am I wrong? I'm freaking wrong. Thermal paste. There he goes. And miscellaneous. Okay, I put the thermal paste on it. Now we will install the CPU cooler. 
Okay, I already put it. <laughs> it didn't show me putting it. Okay. To do this, to open your inventory, go to the cooling category and select the stock cooler. Okay. Stock cooler. Cooling. Stock cooler. Right here. Now we will install the graphics card. Hell yeah! That's that. That's the brains of every game right here. <laughs> the graphics card or video card is the part that takes information from the CPU and turns it into an image which displays on the screen. Can be a separate part called dedicated or discrete video card, like you're about to see here, or it can be built into the CPU called integrated video card. Okay, those are so bad. <laughs> As a rule of thumb, dedicated graphics cards have more power, obviously and are used for GPU more GPU intensive uh, applications like gaming or 3D modeling. Install the graphics card, okay. Uh, graphics card, ASUS GTX 680. Why are we so outdated here? Come on, man. That's so outdated. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> now, will we, now we will insta the RAM. Oh, install the RAM. Missing two L's there. <laughs> okay, let's install the RAM. RAM, CPU processors, memory. Uh, DDR3, bro, why are we so outdated? We gotta go with DDR4. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, and right here. Hello, right, right. Okay, open it, open, oh, open it. Put one here. Can I? Wait, I can put more. Let's have 64 gigabytes of RAM. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, putting them all down. Yeah, there you go. Now we will install the hard drive. Okay, hard drive, easy. This is this is easy stuff right here. Seagate, Barracuda, gotcha. Right here. <laughs> Lastly, we install a fan. Okay, let's install a fan. Cooling, simple fan. Right here. Got it. Am I done? Whoa, what the hell? Press E to change project. What? Okay, I got two fans over here. Am I am I good? Am I good to go? Oh, what the heck? I can rotate it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I, I got two graphics cards. Woo! Okay. I did it. That's awesome. Some Dell computers here. Don't need that. Got my own computer. Let's buy, let's buy some more m memory. Or friggin' storage. <laughs> there you go. I, I, can I even put any SSDs here? I don't think so. Okay. Give me this. Where is it? Uh, storage. Right here. Boom, boom, boom. For all your Steam games. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I installed a back panel. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, turn it back. Can I, can I install another one here? Um, cases, cooling, drive cover. Do I have a drive cover? Ah! Oh! We have another side panel here. Okay! We're done with our build! Yay! What do we have here? Is that it? Am, am I done here? Why do I walk so slowly? <laughs> But yeah, this is this is a this could be a really cool game if if you can like run your own PC shop and have people select specific like have people come up to you and select specific things they want in their computer and you and you build it up that would be a really really cool game. Um, if you're interested in my setup, I have <laughs> I have uh, this Alienware laptop here. It's it's a 970M as a 970M, uh, but I also have the um, external uh, graphics card it's a GTX 1070 so it's a pretty it's a pretty cool setup it's a it's not it's not bad at all but yeah I'd, I'd, I'd really love to build a PC one day <laughs> it would be so cool oh we still got a bit of tutorial left here okay the last part of this tutorial is cabling to start doing it press F1 to change the cabling mode okay click every highlighted slot to install a cable there if a connector you select fits, you will be presented with info that's about that specific cable. Okay, so F1, mount, unmount cabling, cabling, right? Oh boy, <laughs> oh I have no idea. Okay, click, click the name of the connector you want to install. Um, 
what are we installing here? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, does not fit here. Okay, that one works. <laughs> That's good enough, right? The EPS 12 volt, I guess, I think 12 volt. Power cable, provide the additional power the CPU requires to work. Okay. And over here I need... This one. Yeah! <laughs> okay, the 20 by 24 pins ATX power cable provides power to the motherboard and some extension card and, and some expansion card. For example, low power dedicated gra graphics card doesn't need an additional power connector. They get all the power they need directly from the bar motherboard. Cool. Okay, now we need here. Okay, I know I know this one. I know this one. I, it's eight pins. No, six pins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I knew it. <laughs> the PCIe uh, power cable is 6 pin or 8 pin. Connector used to provide additional power to the card that are installed in PCIe slots. Usually high performance graphics cards. Yes, okay. I got that part. Now I need 8 pin here. Yeah. I told you I knew it. I half knew it. Okay. There you go. 8 here and 6 here, I think. Yeah. Got it. Wait. Hello? Hello? Am I, am I done? Yeah, seems like I'm done. Okay, and then I put here the... Let's put some more... Wait, uh, mount. Let's put more Seagate drivers and a DVD. I can't put DVD. Well done. <laughs> well, this game is pretty early in development anyway. Uh, I don't, I didn't expect it to be fully covered or fully, fully finished. I mean, so yeah, I guess we can just install that and then install the side panel, and we're done. PC's done. There you go. That's cool. Oh, and you can go in the shop and buy more if you want. It's not, it's not really that useful though. Oh Jesus. I really hope they they develop this fully. Like so far, they've got the, the the they've got everything how how it's supposed to look like, which is pretty good. They just need to work on like making it an actual game now. But it's a very good step forward. I'm really happy that someone's actually doing something like this. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching and stay groovy.